Yo, what's going on guys? Nathan from NW Productions. And today I'll be doing a story time about how I burn myself with hot, hot glue. And I believe I got a third degree burn, but I never went to the hospital. So I'm in this engineering class. It is called Quest. It stands for like something. It stands for something like engineer and like outstanding and stuff. I don't know. I forget what it stands for. <clears throat> anyway, so we go. I go into this class. We are putting together uh, like a house out of popsicle sticks is what I believe. This happened two years ago when I was in, or like three years ago, about like fourth or fifth grade, I think. And um, we had to use hot glue. Personally, I didn't, I didn't have much experience with hot glue, so I knew this was going to go great. Anyway, I start up with hot glue, everything going fine. A couple people burn themselves just by getting it on them, but this time, so I was I was pulling my trigger on mine, and some of the glue got on, got on me. I'm like, how this hurt? So I have to be extra careful. Anyway. And the, but these hot glues, most of them have plastic around them pr to protect them. These did, but but the ends, like the front and the back, didn't have as much. So like it was easy to burn yourself on that because it was very hot. I put my so as I go to change out another mag or whatever it's called, <laughs> a glue stick, I burn my like I touch I touch it along with the melting glue because. It was very hard to put in because it wouldn't go in the socket. And I just hurt so bad. Like, I thought I honestly burned myself, which obviously did. I go run over to the sink and go and put lots of lots of water on it. I drenched this thing in water for, like, ten minutes. And, like, my hand will not function correctly. I thought, like, I killed my nerves or something. This is on my right hand. My right hand, like my thumb, and my one finger, and my finger, the next of it. I would put the burr in the thumbnail, but I don't think I have a picture. I'm not kidding. I don't. I didn't have my phone back then. Well, my mom, my mom has a picture actually. Maybe I could ask her for it, but we'll see when this is getting uploaded. I get, so I get um, so I get this, so I get um sent to the nurse because it's still not gone by the end of class so apparently this was like the worst burn she's had and she's like it wasn't really my fault all that all that much because it is so hard to use when like I, I think this one was broken because of the metal obviously I wouldn't sue them over this crap but yeah I go to the nurse and she's just like here have some ice do you want a cough drop like I can make I make a rant video on school nurses. Like, some of them are good and do their job, but most of them, like, they, like, you break your neck, and you're like, would you like a cough drop? You literally, like, are vomiting and have COVID. Would you like an ice pack? Like, I swear that's what all they can do, give you an ice pack. But, and they give me an ice pack, and they say, come back here in an hour if it doesn't get better. And, th no, this is in the morning, like, I don't know, like, one, like 12 in the morning or, like, yeah, it's, like, noon. So, I still have, like, three and a half hours left of the day, which is torture. It's still, it's still burning, even with the ice. The ice makes it slightly better, but not really. So, and this is where I know I got messed up because the ice still is not helping it that much. So, I have to go down to get more ice, and they decided to put something on it. I don't know, it was, like, cream or something. Apparently that would help the burning. It did a little bit. And they threw some more ice on it. And yeah, I get back to class. I cannot write because I'm ready. I'm a right-handed. So for me to write with my left hand was impossible. So I had to like write with like three fingers. And yeah, then go well. And we had a test that day in social studies, of course. So I just said, I'll write down. She, my teacher was nice about it. She allowed me to write down, like, the best of what I could with my capabilities and then rewrite it, like, another day with, like, showing my answers better. Like, most of it was filling the bubbles. 
I was pretty good there. I get home. I get home from whatever. I would go on. I actually get picked up. I think I... Actually, I might have walked home. No, I think I asked my dad to pick me up or something. I don't know. I think I got picked up this day for some reason. I, in elementary school, I either walked or got picked up. So I'm getting driven home. I'm getting driven home. Um, I'll tell him about this thing. He's like, really? Um, and then he's like, they should not be letting you at this age have hot glue. That's like not, that's not in their better, um, supervision considering like five other kids burnt themselves, but not as bad as me. But he said, we'll throw ice on it and get it checked out and see what we can do. And by this time, it's starting to bubble up like pretty big. It's so gross to look at. It looks like some fungus crap, but it's not fungus. I know what it is, obviously. As I'm trying to, um, as I'm trying to get it better, I'm just like, I'm just like, please get better. And, and it's just getting ye more yellow, which is nasty as hell. And like bigger and bubblier. And like, if you popped it, it would like ooze liquid all over. Please, if, if you, um, this is a warning. Um, if you want to continue, please be able to handle grossness i warned you anyway this then i go to bed um it gets better at home but it still burns a tiny bit it hurts though for like hell for sure still then i go to bed i wake up it's it's like still pretty crappy it's like still pretty crappy of like a burn it's not stinging that much it's not really stinging but it's still like it's bubbled up pretty freaking bad. And if you touch the bubble, it hurts so bad. So, and if you were to pop it, oh my god. Like, took a pin to it. I was almost tempted to just for the hell of it, but I would have got my shit rocked by the pin. And I was not looking up for that. Um, I go, and then I go and, whatever it's called, I go to school again. <laughs> She, she understands that I can't do the retake the test really or not retake it but fill in my answers correctly. She understands I can't um really whatever it's called work correctly, and I'm just like uh yeah. And so I just get more ice I guess. Yeah, I got more ice the next day. She just she let me easy. She let me go easy, which was really nice of her. And then we go, and we go and um. The next day, specials, like, like, we had specials, like, five a week, I think, or four a week, or five a week. Um, the next special was, I believe it was, well, this was on a Tuesday, so, I think it was, um, like, I obviously couldn't do music, so, like, and music, we just, like, played drums and crap, and, like, Picked up books and read, which was actually I could do, but probably not the best to do, like, physical stuff with my hands at this time. I do, after I, after the next day, it gets better and way better. Um, not much pain anymore. Just a little, it just hurts a little bit. And eventually the, the bubble's, like, big on day three, huge. And eventually it pops, like, and it like goes down over time. I think a little liquid went out, honestly. I don't remember this part though. Yeah, so that was the story of how I um burned myself as an idiot and um with hot glue and got my hand to be all fucked up. If anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Smash the like button and sub with post notifications on. This is NW Productions. I was looking at analytics, and we have 31 subs currently as this video before it's uploaded, and we only, and that's only like for like 60% of our viewers. So if we use our full potential, we could have way more subs, and then we'll grow as a channel and we'll grow our quality and videos. Thank you. Peace.